Hi, fourth grade. How and why do people create art is our question of the day. Okay, so today you're finally going to get your clay pottery back. You guys are going to be adding one color today so that you guys can build up the color next time out. Know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I want to do a million different colors. That's fine, but I want you guys to fill this up with one color today and then really build up that color. I do this every year and it always turns out even better. Be very, very careful with yours. You're going to notice that it's very fragile. There might be some areas where it's cracking. If anything falls off, maybe that means you didn't slip and score. I can't promise that I can fix everything. Sometimes things just pop off in the kiln and it's not fixable. You're going to have to be a problem solver and make it work. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a paintbrush and paper towel. And then you may also need a water cup. Just take those items, follow the green arrows, and then set up your area before you get paint today. What I would do is I would get one or two paper towels, use one as your placemat that you can just throw away, and then one for cleaning up any messes. Now the water cup, since you're just using one color, you're not gonna be using this a whole lot. This is just so that your brush doesn't dry out. Next, you'll follow the green arrows and I will get you your first color. I'm gonna do like a fiery ombre. So I'm gonna choose something like red, put it all over. And then next time I'm gonna add the different colors. If you ever need to get this on your own, remember you shake it up, turn it on its side, open the cap, and then pour and squeeze. All right, so I'm going to dry off my brush. I'm gonna take this red paint and I'm just gonna go for it. There's no wrong way to do this but you're gonna notice it's gonna be a little bit tricky getting all those areas. I want you to cover the whole thing, the inside, outside, the bottom. But as you're seeing, you, you're starting to leave a little bit of mark. This is why I have you guys paint with only one color because it's going to make the piece look a lot better. Every time I've let the students have all the colors on the first day, they just wanna rush through it and they leave lots of white spots. So take one color and really just take your time. Take your time and try to get all those little spots. If you ever need more, just follow the green arrows and go ahead and get that. But remember, we're using one color today. What I want you to notice is that I'm constantly scanning, turning, and moving the art so that I can get all those spots. I'm trying to get as many as I can. That's why we're using one color today, so that I know you're taking your time. And this is going to look really good when it's all done and we add even more colors next time. So the nice part about clay is that it soaks up really, really fast. So it'll give you a chance to scan it. Look at all the little white spots. See, this is why I have you only focus on one color today. You can go back in and add all the colors you want next time, but really get those white spots. It's my pet peeve. I do not like white spots. It's lazy. So try to get as many as you can. Don't forget, you can also get the bottom too. Once it's time for us to clean up or you got most of the spots, you can put the paintbrush in the water cup, give it a little stir, that should clean it out, and then place your artwork on the back counter. You can place your artwork inside of the bin that has your grid level on it. If you can't fit it inside, just put it to the side and I'll know it's from that class. Your paper towel goes water in the trash, just goes in the sink. And then you need to clean out your paint tray. You should only have one color, so please don't fill up the other areas, you're just wasting your time. And then take this big old brush back here, turn the water just a little bit. Please don't use high power water. You're going to get sprayed. Low sweat setting that you can create. And then get rid of that gunk. I like to give it a little tap. And then over here in this sink, just put it on the little dishwashing rack so it can dry. Paintbrush goes back for the next person. Once you're done, of course, you can use a wet wipe, clean your hands, clean your table and get all those nasties. You can, of course, choose a new activity of your choice as long as your table is clean. If you had a explosion in the kiln or you were not here for clay week, you can use some model magic to make your clay coil pot today. Have a great day and I'm excited to see what you guys paint.